Okay, now this is the Final Cut Pro version of cloning. So you see, I've already got everything set up, and I really don't want to change it. Because this isn't like a second run through or anything. But you kind of get the idea here. If you're using Final Cut and you've never really tried to clone before, all you have to do is you get your, uh, your basic file here, which is this. like all of this here which is just me walking up doing all that coffee stuff stuff for the coffee my computer is being a little bit weird right now um, then you want to go and if you're using if it's in the same video then you have to cut it and unlike iMovie you can use the same file because it's not like stored in a, a bin or something so what you'll want to do is you want to find that part of the video and then you'll want to, what I did was cross dissolve because there was like a, where it, where I'd put it, there was a large color exposure problem here, which I fixed right here. Like this. And so, all, my dad walked by my room, that was weird. Um, so all you have to do for this is you get the file and you drag it up here, right? And then what you'll have is like this thing, and it'll have you go to oh god, what am I trying to say? All right, what you you drag the file over, and what it'll originally be is it'll be this file, and then when it gets right here, it'll go to this one. So you won't have this part. So what you'll want to do is go to cropping, like it'll be like this. And it'll be like, there will be like nothing there. Take that off. So it'll just be this. So what you want to do is you want to go to crop and then go right if you're in the right side of the shot. And it'll drag that out. You want to find a good part to really cut it at. So I picked right here. Um, and you see there's color difference. So what you want to do is you want to go to edge feather right here and that will even out the uh, the shots it'll sorta of, you know get rid of it and then there's you know lots of render time involved here so you render that hopefully this doesn't take forever if it takes forever then I guess I'll just cut through it um yeah it's gonna take three minutes and I don't wanna do it for three minutes but whatever um A quick note before I cut through this on cloning itself is you want to make sure that when you film it, it's, you know, you follow like a basic script because going in and just saying, well, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to say this and it really doesn't work. You have to know timing and when to say it, what you're going to do, and you have to basically be looking at your clone self in your mind while you're doing it. That way you know what to do and you know how to follow that. Um, so I'm gonna cut through this now, so hold on. And good. Okay, so now we've got that rendered and it should look like, if I didn't change anything, oh and there'll still be a little bit of like a, like a little color change, like in here I didn't realize it because I, I didn't sync it up before, but like when I play this, it sort of corrected itself right there in the exposure. So then Don't drink the coffee! What? That's it. No, what? So there's the shot. That's it in a nutshell. Um just overall make sure that it doesn't go like if you want a, a really smooth and clean cloning then just make sure that you edge feather right and you get make sure that you don't cut off anything really like I think I wonder if I if my fall I can't remember if that no it's good it's good uh, so that is 
I guess basically it for cloning in Final Cut. Um, yeah, so if you like this, subscribe, comment on it, rate it, like it, all that crap. Uh, yeah, see ya.